All right, chip of the day. Um, this one is going to be the H, um, MHQ 6002 HMQ 6002. So this is a Motorola part. Uh, it's obviously old because it has gold leads on it. Um, I have several of these, so I want to see what they do. Uh, turns out it's a quad complementary transistor. So these are nice having transistors all matched. So let's see what they, this data sheet doesn't have, doesn't have anything. So I found this data sheet and it does have a pinout. So that's what it looks like, but the uh, pinout is incorrect. Um, it actually looks like this. <laughs> There's actually a short uh, between those two pins. Um, but that's our pinout. So we have uh, a transistor pair here and a transistor pair here, NP, NP, NP. And so they are supposed to be matched. I say we go measure them and see if they are matched. Um, let's do that now. In some circuits, you hear the term complementary, and they might be talking about a NPN and a PNP being used together, and one is the complement of the other, one being N and one being P. And so here we have two transistors, a 3904 and a 3906. I think these are considered to be complementary. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the, uh, the NPN. That's the NPN, all right? And then uh, I will put in the uh, PNP so you can see what that looks like. Now, when you, oops, I didn't put my, it's kind of, I had to lower the lights here so it would photograph well, so I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. So uh, the machine, we have to put in PNP mode. And uh, when, we, when we do its thing, it's upside down. But that's okay because we have a button here that's called invert and we can just pop it up and make it look like the other one. So I think you can just by memory see that this one does not look like the other one. One of these things is not like the other. Um, so are these really complementary or not, right? So I would say no, they are definitely not complementary. They're maybe close. Um, now, back in the old days, uh, raise your hand if you had a grease pencil uh, these days, I'm going to use a dry erase, <laughs> okay? And what you can do is you can just draw right on your screen, okay? And I'm going to draw where these things are happening, all right? Now, you might not be able to see that in the camera very well, but trust me, they're there. Can you still see those? Oh, yeah, you can, okay? So you can see that I put some uh, marks on there, okay? And then let's go back to the uh, 3904. That was 3906. Go back to the 3904. There we go. And we need to go back to NPN mode. All right, and so there we go. We have the same thing. So you can see that uh, the beta of the PNP is a little higher. The, uh, and it's not as flat. It's not as, as straight from a base current. These are equal base current, right? constant base currents. And so for each base current, the other one had an angle and this one has more flat. So you can see, okay, maybe those aren't, maybe those aren't very complementary. Have to get our, out our eraser here. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and look at a different transistor. We're going to take a look at this one. Okay. So this one is our Motorola part. So let's see if it's complementary. It's supposed to be. It's claimed to famous that it's complementary. Okay. So there's that one. Let's go ahead and mark the NPN this time. And I'll just kind of put some marks here where that one is. All right. And then we will change over to the complementary PNP. There we go. All right, so here's our PNP, let's invert it. And we'll bring it over and look at that. That's complementary. Those guys line up exactly where the other ones were. So this is definitely complementary. So if you need complementary, get yourself complementary because they do exist. Um, so I think this is a great example of a true complementary pair and a pair. And it's all on one 
substrate. It's all on the same piece of silicon. So its thermal coefficients between the two will be the same too. So if you're using it in a complementary situation and there's temperature drift, they will both drift the same. So yeah, that is pretty cool. All right, uh, so that looks pretty good. Now, one thing I saw interesting on this data sheet is it says that the NPN transistors are similar to a 2N18, a 2218, 2N2218, and the PNPs are similar to a 2N2904. Neither one of those sound very familiar. So I look those data sheets up, and this is very interesting. Let's start with this one. Um, a 2N2218, 2219, 2222, 2221, So we're familiar with that one. They're all part of the same family. So these are all in the same family. They come in different packages. So that's one of the, that's one of the differences. Um, so the other, the PNP transistor uh, is also a family including the 2907. Well, I'm very familiar with the 2222 and the 2907, and I, I was aware that those were complementary, but I didn't know if they were any good or not. Um, you know, how complementary? Because the we saw that the 3904 and the 3906 didn't work out all that well now, did it? Um, so let's try those two, the uh, 22 and the 07. Let's, uh, let's do those. All right, here we go. Here's a 2222. Uh, so let's mark him. All right. There we go. There's our marks. All right. I put in the uh, 2907. And no, not so quite. So um, now this one might have been okay if it hadn't such a high beta. This, this particular transistor is a little higher than the other one. Now, these are two separate transistors. So they didn't come on the same IC. And so they probably would have been matched better. We might be able to find a 2907 that matches a 2N22, but we'd have to sort them and everything. Um, but yeah, th they, they act pretty good. Um, let's see here, can I? Well, I don't know how to do it on this machine, but um, I think you get the idea there. Um, it's just a little tiny bit higher in beta, but uh, otherwise the lines are fairly flat. They do, they do bend up a little bit towards the upper end there. Uh, they don't go straight across like the other one that we saw, but uh, yeah, better, definitely better. So that was chip of the day, an MHQ6002. I don't know if they build this anymore, but uh, they are very nice.